Hello clever people and welcome to my review for The Photograph. So The Photograph is about a news reporter who in the process of writing an article meets a woman and he starts to kind of fall in love with her and at the same time that it's telling that story it also goes back in time and tells the story of that woman's mother and it kind of shows the similarities between the two of them. The Photograph was a movie that I wasn't really expecting. Um, I didn't really realize that it was coming out until like two or three days before it was coming out, and I wasn't expecting much out of it. I, I, I was a bit excited just because I do like watching romance movies, especially around Valentine's Day. So I went in just not really having many expectations at all, and I actually ended up enjoying The Photograph quite a bit. The first half of this movie is great. It's really, really good. And I love the way that this movie chooses to do its style. It's got jazz music playing probably for 75 to 80% of the runtime. It's constantly in the background. It's constantly like loud and over the top of the characters talking. And it creates a really cool style. And it just makes the movie feel very relaxed and very comfortable. And that was great, especially for a romance movie like this. A lot of people watch these type of movies for comfort. And when you have a very comforting, nice, easy flowing tone to it, it's a great start. However, that tone eventually kind of runs thin because they don't try to do anything new with it. They just keep it with jazzy music and very romantic scenes. And eventually it just kind of gets repetitive. And once that tone kind of loses its coolness, all you're left with is a movie that is a very cliche rom-com, in a lack of a better words, because there's, there's nothing really all that creative or original about this movie. It's very much just a regular, standard rom-com. And I, that's not like the worst thing ever. It's just, if you're going into this movie and you're not expecting much, and then suddenly there's this cool tone and you're like, oh, this movie could actually be really good. And then halfway through the movie, you realize, oh, the tone kind of wears thin and it's just an average romance movie. Then it's just a little bit disappointing. Not that this movie is bad and not that once it loses its style, it's even a bad movie. It's got some pretty good performances in it. Although I must say, Lakeith Steinfeld felt a bit, uh, I don't know if miscast is the right word, but maybe misdirected because his character is like a weird combination of suave and smooth while also being kind of, I, I guess, kind of affable or not really understanding or kind of cute in a certain sense and the two of them kind of clash and they don't make very good sense for the character but it's still a nice movie and I will say I was entertained by the photograph throughout. It's a little long. I think it's about an hour and 50 minutes and you could have trimmed 20 minutes off and made it a slim 90 minutes but they didn't do so and it's not detrimental to the movie. It just isn't optimal. So in the end, the photograph isn't amazing. It's nothing to write home about, but it has a cool style. And if you're looking for a nice rainy day comfort movie to curl up on the couch and watch, this is a great one for that. I will give the photograph a six out of 10. All right, that concludes my review for the photograph. So what are your thoughts on this movie or what is your favorite rainy day movie? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke and this has been the Clever Critics. Goodbye.